Welcome to our back to school special here on Designing Spaces, Kids Spaces. The show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings, and how they relate to your kids going back to school. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. As you can see, we've already gone back to school, and soon this classroom will be bustling with activity. A bunch of kids getting ready for a new school year. But the question is, parents, are you ready? Okay, no need to worry. We have a great show, everything from health to shoes, from kindergarten to college. So let's get the lesson planner out for today's lesson. In okay. the next half hour, we have shoes, chews, teeth, and texts. All coming up on the next half hour of Designing Spaces. Kids Spaces. Back to school special. You know, there's an old saying, the bigger the kid, the more expensive. Well, obviously, whoever came up with that has kids going to college. You're absolutely right. Just the textbooks alone every semester, well, it's enough to break the bank, but it doesn't have to be that way. Right now, Designing Spaces Kids Spaces has a way to save you money on textbooks. Here's Michelle Phillips in Louisville, Kentucky. One of a college student's biggest expenses is purchasing textbooks each semester. According to the College Board, a full-time student at a four-year college spent $1,077 on textbooks across the full academic year of 2008 and 2009. Designing Spaces Back to School Special found a unique way students can reduce the expense of textbooks and at the same time help the environment. Welcome to Designing Spaces Back to School Special. I'm Michelle Phillips and I'm here in Louisville, Kentucky at the Chegg.com warehouse. And joining me today is Jim Safka, and he is the Chief Executive Officer of Chegg.com. Welcome. Thanks, Michelle. I'm so glad you guys came out here. Oh, this is an amazing warehouse. Tell us all about Chegg.com. Well, the concept is very simple. It's for college students, and we're all about saving them money and helping the environment. So basically, students can rent college textbooks as opposed to buying them and save a lot of money. It's about a third the price of what a used book would otherwise cost to rent it. With this warehouse being enormous, obviously you have a huge selection of books. Do you cover almost every single textbook that college students will need? I wouldn't say almost. Uh, if you need a textbook for one of your classes, we've got it. And if we don't have it right here, we will find it and we will get it to you. We've got all books. I mean, as an example, pre-calculus, uh, right here. We've got engineering statistics. You take all the popular books, we've got it, and if you've got an obscure class uh, and we don't have the book, we'll go find that for you as well. So if you want to rent the book, uh, we've, we've got it. Wonderful. And so approximately how much do students save by going through your service? It's pretty extraordinary. So the average student spends uh, over $1,000 a year on college textbooks, which is a lot of money. Uh, at community colleges, it's the number one most expensive thing uh, at, in the school program. Basically. Students pay about a third of what they would otherwise pay for a used book. It's, it's really uh, in, incredible. Um, when I tell people about Chegg, and basically you can rent the textbooks for a third of the price of what you would otherwise pay for a used book, um, and you just rent them, uh, what I hear all the time is, hasn't that been done before? And the answer is no. This company invented the model, and this company is the leader in, in renting textbooks. And also, you know, you're recycling books, you're recycling the boxes. Um, talk about the other recycling program that you have. Well, the environment is very important to students these days. And you know, one of the things that we found when we did our research is that over 20 million books every year are destroyed. And what you're talking about are a lot of trees that have to get cut down for those 20 million books that are destroyed. So by renting these books, we get to use them more often, fewer trees get cut down. In addition to that, for every book that's rented from Chegg.com, we plant a tree in the student's name, and they really, really appreciate that. Wow, that's a lot of trees that are planted because you have thousands of students using your service all over the country, and that's just been by word of mouth. In previous companies, we've spent a lot of money on marketing campaigns, and at Chegg.com, we really haven't spent anything on marketing. You know, when you use a service, and it's a great service, and when people are like this, you want to evangelize it. You want to tell people about it. And so basically, our business has spread all across 6,000 campuses 
purely through word of mouth. Well, tell us how we can find out more about your service. Well, it's very simple. Just go to the website. It's www.cheg.com. C-H-E-G-G.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you for giving us such valuable information on your service, how parents can save a lot of money, and also giving back to the environment. Well, you bet. Thanks for coming out. Oh, it's been so much fun. From Louisville, Kentucky, I'm Michelle Phillips for Designing Faces. You know, we've seen some really cool stuff on today's show. I wish I had some of it when I was back in school. When you were back in school, you mean way back in... You know what? I'm going to switch subjects and remind everybody to watch the next Designing Spaces Back to School special coming very soon. You won't want to miss it. Exactly. But for today, we're out of time. Yes, we are. But we'll see you real soon on Designing Spaces Kids Spaces Back to School special. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. And I'm being called to the principal's office. Yes, I called him. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.